Every day, every 
church. So those that come in by the way of television, I want to sing a little praise, and I trust that I will encourage you. Trust in God. For God has for me is for me. What God has for me is for me. I know if I die, that he will be recognized. What God Chapter 5, verse 7, 8, and 9. And it reads, you did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? You did run well. But who did hinder you that you did not obey the truth? We're running in vain. We don't want to be guilty of running in vain. Praise the We want to count for something on this journey. Praise the Lord. We 
you have some aim in, in our life. In your natural life, no doubt you have an aim in your natural life. And your aim can be many. You might be living in a house that you plan on moving out soon. Or you might be riding in a car that you think about trading. Or you got some plan for the natural man. But when it comes to the spiritual man, oftentimes we find ourselves uh, and they use the term hanging loose. We have no aim in life, spiritual life. Praise the Lord. And every child of God should have an aim in that spiritual life. And we should all have one common aim, and that is I want to make heaven my home. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to live so when, when, when life is it's finished down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I can lay down and take my last breath with the assurance that it's going to be all right. Praise the Lord. You see, when you have that assurance it's going to be all right, you won't have to lay down and fight with death. Hallelujah. Because you realize, amen, praise God, it's only a process that you have to go through to get where you've been aiming to go for a long time. Right, right. Hallelujah. And when this life, it comes a time in one's life that uh, life loses value. Well, well. Sometimes after so much suffering and pain, so much stress of life, life, amen, is not to you what it had been at one time. All right. Sometimes we got a desire well, Jesus. to go home All right. and be at rest. Amen. But as saints of God, we know that that's not in our hands, and we, we, we don't have the option of, of, of taking our own life. Well, The Lord give us life, and, well, and in the time come, amen, praise God, he will exchange his life for another life. That the Holy Ghost or the Holy Man on the inside of this man Shall not see death. Well, all of the other man, this man that you look at this evening with your natural eye, will one day see death. Well, but that holy man, that well, that that man that sometimes we don't feed. All right, all right. Amen. Praise God. That man that sometimes we don't give a, a, a drink when he's thirsty. Sometimes, amen, we go for day after day, amen, praise God, and, and, and we complain about what the other man is getting, and, 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 and I had that last night, and I don't want that tonight, I'm tired of eating this, and I'm tired of eating that, but it's a spiritual man on the inside of most of us is saying, I'm hungry. Well, preach, 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 hallelujah. I'm hungry for the word hungry. of the Lord. That I may understand what thus says the Lord. Right. Praise the Lord. God said, I will not have you ignorant. God was talking about salvation. I will not have you ignorant concerning who I am. I don't want you to be ignorant concerning this plan of salvation. <coughs> Praise the Lord. But if we turn a deaf ear to hear the word, and we'll find ourselves running and not obeying the truth. So this persuasion comes not of him that calleth you. When you find yourself that you're not obeying the truth, it's a persuasion there that come not of the one that called you into holiness. It's another one that's saying to you that, oh, I know that's wrong, but you know, we had another time. Folks have told more lies on Jesus. Well, <coughs> excuse me. You were folks lying on you. They will never lie on me and you as much as they've lied on Jesus. Well, Jesus. And those people call themselves Jesus people. All right. They have found in Christ an excuse for any abundant thing well, they want to do. Right. They always bring Christ in it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And when they can't find a man, praise God, no other excuse, they say, well, he knows my heart. 
praise the Lord. I, I, I wasn't there, amen, praise God, but my heart was there. Yeah. I've been pastor for a long time, and I ain't never seen nobody heart. <laughs> so if your heart was here, then nobody see it. Praise the Lord. Heart belongs in the body. Yes. So my heart to be there, my body needs to be there to bring my heart there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now you might tell me your spirit is here, because I know spirit in there, the thing you always see. You just see the actions of the spirit. But my heart was there. Well, bless the Lord. Maybe it was, but we didn't see it. I hope we didn't walk on it. Your man, somebody bruised it. <laughs> bless the Lord. And let's just what I said. And then now, a little less, little less, just a little teeny tiny bit of leaven. It leavens the whole lot. What is it saying? We know, amen, praise God, soda, uh, baking powder uh, is used as a leaven when people are baking things and cooking things. Praise the Lord. So that's you take a measure, amen, praise God, of unleavened meal or unleavened flour, and allow me to just put a pinch, not just the box in it, just take, put a, a pinch of baking powder in it. Praise the Lord. It might not be enough baking powder in it when you bake it to make it even rise up, but you cannot call it leaven anymore because a pinch of leaven they put into it, and it cannot be unleavened anymore. So sometimes that little pinch of leaven uh, don't show. We don't see that little pinch of leaven. We can't see it, but 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 God sees it. Praise the Lord. So we're gonna have to get us all the leaven out. Amen. For leaven represent sin. Praise God. So the Lord is saying to his people, they man, praise God, I want you on leaven. Tired of it. You see, amen, praise God, when you are leaven, and when people, they man, praise God, tell you what thus says the Lord, you won't find yourself rising up. Well, when you're in your wrong, and somebody comes to you and says, well, you know, that's wrong. All right. God's against that. All right. You're living the wrong life, amen. You're not doing the right thing. Well, praise God, hallelujah. And, 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 and you'll find yourself, amen, humble yourself and say, well, pray for me. Pray that I, I can overcome. Pray that the Lord, amen, will, will bring me out, amen, praise God. But so often time you'll find, amen, praise God, when folks are wrong and you speak to them with their wrongdoing, they rise up. Why? I'll tell you why. Because you got leaven in you. Get that leaven out of you. And you'll find that things will be better. Praise the Lord. I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will be none otherwise minded. But he that troubles you shall bear his judgment. Whosoever it be. Praise the Lord. Now, Paul, at this time of ministry, it was a great controversy within the church concerning circumcision of the flesh. It was given to Abraham uh, as a covenant to bring Israel into a covenant with the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now, amen, praise God, and, and the uh, new covenant, God had taken circumcision that had been used down to the time as a covenant to bring him into him God now is giving circumcision in another manner. Yeah. All right. And the circumcision that required of us today, not only is for, for the male as it was at that time, well. but the day is for both male All right. and female. All right. And that circumcision, amen, praise God, is the circumcision of the heart. Yes. And, that, and even back Amen, praise God. Under the first covenant, many times we find, amen, in the scripture where I said, and, and when people, when Israel will go wrong and do wrong, God will say, man, you uncircumcised of heart. Well. 
But now he's saying that, praise God, whether circumcision or not, amen, it doesn't profit you in the faith to be circumcised, amen. as they did in that day. Amen. And no bearing on one's salvation, praise the Lord. And when the Gentiles came in, praise the Lord, hallelujah, it didn't require them to be circumcised. And this is what was going on, amen, praise God. Somebody holding on to something, amen, praise God, and said to the New Testament church, amen, you all come in, you have been circumcised, but well, you can't be saved unless you be circumcised and keep that law that Moses gives concerning circumcision. So strange, so strange, over the years, every time people are reading the Bible concerning the law, Every time the preacher would preach about the law, well, yeah. and I hear them preach from scripture that was dealing with circumcision. All right. And I hear them pre preach from scripture, amen, praise God, uh, uh, various other scripture, had no bearing on the Ten Commandment at all. all right. But somehow or another, they always want to go to the Ten Commandment well, yeah. and pick out the Fourth Commandment. Well, God said, man, praise God, remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. And they drill on the Sabbath day, and the Sabbath day had no connection with circumcision at all. Amen. All right, all right. Never did, never will. Never will. Praise the Lord. But they will use uh, that to try to condemn the Sabbath. All right. Praise the Lord. Now, you want to know why I keep the Sabbath? I'll tell you why I keep the Sabbath. Praise the Lord. Why do you keep the seven-day Sabbath? Why are you all different from everybody else? Why don't you just join forth with all of us and let us all go to church on Sunday, which is the first day of the week? I keep the Sabbath because I'm a man. I keep the seven-day Sabbath because I'm a man. And St. Mark, amen, chapter 2 and verse 13, 27, Jesus said, the Sabbath was made for man. Not man. And not man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man, talking about himself, he is the Lord of the Sabbath. Meaning what? I own the Sabbath. The word Lord in the scripture, amen, praise God, taking an old English term, mean ownership. I own the Sabbath. And it was made for man. Praise the Lord. So since I'm man, I'm I, 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 I right to keep it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I know what you're saying. I know what some folks are thinking. You know, it's for the Jews. Well, you know, I guess you probably know about the men, but the Jews then. All right. So if you, a man comes to the body of television and you believe that, you have to look in the mirror and see if you see a Jew in the mirror. If you see a man. If you see a man in the mirror, then you ought to keep God's Sabbath. Jesus said, what am I made for? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we don't want to be running in vain. Let us go to 1 Corinthians chapter 9. One of these days I'm going to get a Bible index in. I won't be able to give you a scripture. Until that time, I'll make up what I have. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's something strange about the Bible. Once you get a Bible, you get a text to it. It's just kind of hard to put it down. First Corinthians chapter 9. How it's just hard to. I got another Bible. Amen, first God. But then this Bible been together for a long time. Amen. We've been on the land and on in the air. We've been a whole lot of places together. And, and I just don't seem to be able to depart from it. Get a little collaborative, and I went to the bookstore the day, and I asked the man, I said, I want a Bible like this Bible. And you will know if the time this comes, it's gone to the building. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I just still hold on to what I got. Let's look at uh, Paul, amen, praise God. Was, he first talked about the liberty uh, of the provision that God had given to the minister. God had provided provision for his ministry. God didn't send us out, amen, praise God, and then feed us. Are you listening? Amen. I know some folks got them theory, amen, and preachers don't eat. Well. And now the others, amen, say he don't eat too much. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the Lord, amen, made a provision for the preacher. And Paul was talking about those provisions. And he went back to the Old Testament and he talked about the ox. 
that would fly the corn. And God had given a command even for the ox. Right. Saying, amen, praise God, that you don't muzzle the ox that trade the corn. Okay. Now, in my time, amen, praise God, and because I'm on the farm, I have seen muzzle on the horses. Amen. But God gave a command that you don't put no mother. What a mother, what a mother was was a thing that made out of a, 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 a kind of like a chicken wild thing. Oh, yeah. And they put it over the horse's mouth. And when they planted the corn, especially when the corn got below size, then they let him give a man and then to reach over and get a, a, a sock of corn. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, he could plant the corn all day, but he couldn't have a, he couldn't have a stock. Amen. And God said, that's not mother the hog that treaded at the corn. So he said, well, if you're going to work with the ox, and he's going to be planting at your cornfield, every now and then, he ought to get him a little more corn. Right. Praise the Lord. Right. But he said, did he say that for the ox's sake? Yeah. Or for our sake? Yeah. No, more than likely he said it for the sake of his ministry. All right. yeah. Hallelujah. So if you're going to work the ministry, then you ought to see that he has a little something on his table to eat. Yeah. Right. And this is not complaining, amen, praise God, because the Lord has provided name on my table. So I'm not trying to preach this and eat man, praise God, to get you to pat my pocket and understand that, God. I'm just talking to man, praise God, about uh, what God has provided for. That's all right, man. That's all right. Amen. Uh, some folk got a theory, you know, if the Lord sent him, he's supposed to charge them nowhere. Amen. Some folk got a theory, man, praise God, if, well, if, 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 if God has sent him, man, praise God, uh, he wouldn't have a job. Well, you got a job, well, you didn't take it. Well, uh-huh. You receive this special thing, man, praise God. But when it comes to your common thing, you 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 were holding those common things, but you want his special thing. Praise the Lord. But God has made a provision. But Paul glory in not accepting those things that God has provided for him. That it would not hinder his ministry. He didn't want nobody to say, man, praise God, that. He was who he was because they had something to do with it. Paul strictly depended upon the Lord. And said, Amen, praise God. I, 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 I have, have been called by God. I, I have become your servant. And woe be unto me if I preach not the gospel. Praise the Lord. Now I will not, Amen, let any man, Amen, praise God, take away my glory. He said, I, I, I will not make no charge for the gospel. And I'm standing here today in the presence of God in this company after pastoring for 38 years and after preaching longer than that, I have never, never put on anybody a charge for any service I have ever rendered. Well. Some preacher charge is so much to marry you. Well. That's so much to bury you. Well. Huh? Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. They won't take the job as your preacher. All right. Unless, amen, praise God, you've got a salary. All right. <coughs> Nothing wrong, amen, praise God, with taking care of your preacher. But God's got a plan. God's got a plan for his servant to live by. Amen. And when you learn that plan, then you can be hired by God and not by man. Amen. If I stood in this evening, man, praise God, hired by the deacon board, yeah. praise the Lord, by their approval, yeah. to stand here and preach, and they sit on the seat, amen, praise God, and they mind the things I'm saying, and if they don't like what I'm saying, they'll call me the office this evening. Well. And could very well threaten me or give me my walking face. All right. So then, amen, friends, now what happened when that happened to you? They bring you into their control. That's right. And they will tell you what you can preach right. and what you can't preach. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And if you step over the boundary, even with the word of God, they will say, this church don't stand for that. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So uh, I refuse. I, I, I will never, ever allow any human being well, Tell me what I can preach right. and what I cannot preach. What God has for me, it is for me. Hallelujah. Amen. If I can't find a church, 
amen, praise God, to accept the word, I go down to the police department and get a permit, amen, praise God, to go down on the street corner like it did years ago. Hallelujah. And preach the truth. Hallelujah. Sometimes churches don't stand for the truth. Sometimes church covenant, amen, praise God, is against the truth. So that's why, amen, praise God. I'm glad, amen, praise God, that the only covenant this church has, amen, is the Tenth Commandment. Hallelujah. Come down with church, amen, praise God. The only covenant you're going to see on the wall is the one that God written with his own finger. Hallelujah. That is the covenant that this church is operated by. I've been to some place, amen, praise God. If you want to do the investment of the church, amen, praise God, they got a big sideboard about it. Church covenant. Hallelujah. But I don't need to write no church covenant, amen, praise God. I, it ain't God set up his church, amen, and God made a covenant for the church. And you don't need no man to write his covenant. Yes. Yes. Well, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I ain't putting nobody down. I'm just telling the truth. Huh? I have no intent, amen, to put nobody down. Hallelujah, praise God. And then, amen, praise God, some preachers go into preaching, amen, praise God, not for the purpose of living soul, but they go into the ministry, amen, praise God, for, for, for pride. Right. Amen. Give them a little piece of paper and you can't touch them. Right. Huh? Praise the Lord. They're not concerned about soul. They're concerned about pride. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. Come to those stuff shirts. Right. Hallelujah, amen, praise God. Not worry about people at all, praise God. Or they go into some mature game. That's not what it's all about, amen, praise God. It's not, it wasn't for me to make some kind of decision one day that I want to be a preacher. I didn't get to be a preacher that way. Praise the Lord. I had never, ever dreamed of preaching the word of God. Never. Never thought about it. Praise the Lord. So I didn't get into the preaching because I was, you know, years ago, I want to be a preacher. Praise the Lord. But I got, I'm here, amen, preaching, amen, praise God, because this is my calling. Well, God called me all right. to carry this gospel. Amen, praise God. So, amen, praise God. Since I've been charged, amen, by God, amen, with this responsibility, I have no choice but to continue to preach the word of God. Well, I'll be afraid this evening uh -huh. to go home and sit down and declare I will never preach again. I'll be afraid for my life because I did not hide myself into the position. I did not give myself this position. I did not call myself to be a preacher. And the one that calls me, amen, praise God, and puts me here, I feel his responsibility to tell me when he's ready, amen, praise God, to come off the wall. And until that time, I'm still on the wall. Right. Man. When I had my stroke some years ago, amen, praise God, and 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 and, and brother was on my brain, and brother visited the hospital, I was in the hospital, and he came to visit me and he said, you know what, you're gonna have to come off the wall, but I said, well, no, not so. No, I ain't coming down. God didn't tell me to come down, I'm gonna feel about it. So I know what he's operating on. He's operating on, on natural brother love. And I can understand that, and I appreciate that, that he thought enough of me, amen, praise God, that he thought it would preserve my life, and I would stay around a while longer, that I come with the pulpit. Hallelujah. But my hope, amen, praise God, was to stay where I'm at to be. For this is life unto me. I'm here because God put me here, not because some man put me here. God placed me here. And as long as he wants me to stay here, he's going to give me strength to stay here, regardless of how old I may be. I will still stay in the service of the Lord, amen. And I want to stay, amen, until the Lord say, well done, come off the wall. Yes, sir. Yes, Hallelujah. Ain't no retirement in this thing. That the retired preacher. Praise the Lord. They, they're on a retirement system. Hallelujah. There ain't no retirement in him. God called you. You said God called you and man retired you? Doesn't add up to me. Praise the Lord. So, amen, praise God, 23rd verse said, and this I do uh, for the gospel's sake, that I may be partaker thereof with you. Know you not that they which run in a race all run, 
will one receive the prize? So run that you may obtain. And every man that strive for the mastery is temperate in all things, now that they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown. So if any man, amen, praise God, and, and strive for the master, amen, praise God, is required to be temperate in all things. Yeah, all right. Know how to keep yourself in all things. All right. Hallelujah, praise God, amen. You got to be always on defense, amen, praise God, uh, watching it for all kinds of things that arise against you. Because the adversary got things that there will take you down. Well, amen. Huh? The adversary, amen, praise God, will talk your sweet talk to you while you in the Lord, amen, praise God, and laugh at you. Amen. Yes, he will. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that today, amen, praise God, saints of God, saints of God, you did run well. Well. well who hindered you? Did you not obey the truth? Who hindered you, amen, praise God, that, 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 that took you off the course that he was on? What did you trade Jesus for? Yeah. Hallelujah. What came into your life was so important, was so precious, amen, praise God, that you trade off Jesus to have that? Uh, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And the Lord, amen, has a supplied and given to you everything you need. Hallelujah. But God placed an ordinance upon everything he provided for you. It's a right and a wrong of it. Hallelujah. You can have, amen, praise God, the things you need, but God's got an ordinance on it, amen, praise God, that, that you got to abide by the ordinance. Hallelujah. So, amen, praise God, you'll be temperate in all things. Ask yourself the question today, amen, praise God. If you was once in the race, amen, praise God, if you was once, amen, praise God, running this race, praise God, and you're not in the race anymore, you're on the sidetrack now. What sidetrack you? What took you off the main line? She was on the main line, not on the sidetrack. What took you off the main line, amen, praise God, and got you on the sidetrack? Well, Is the sidetrack the place you want to be? Or the sidetrack where you ought to be? Or do you want to be back on the main line? Hallelujah. Too much jiving and shuffling going on in God's house. Well, Folks playing too many games. Hallelujah. God is not something you're playing with. God is serious about his business. Yes. Hallelujah. You don't, you, don't, you don't want to play with God. You don't want to face an angry God. Hallelujah. Uh, 26 verse says, Are therefore so run, not as uncertainty, so fight out, not as one that beat it there. It's called shadow boxing. Amen. Praise God. You're running, but you know what? You're going to make it or not. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know when I'm going to make it or not. He said, I'm running, but I'm not uncertainty, but why am I raised? Well, you don't have to be uncertain today, amen, praise God, concerning your salvation. Amen. You don't have to be uncertain today, amen, praise God, if you close your eyes right now and went to sleep, whether you got a home in this game or not. Amen. You can be assured of that, amen, praise the Lord. You trust your insurance policy. Huh? Amen. They're not a fool of going to business. That's right. Amen. But if you wreck your automobile, you say, well, I ain't worried, but I got insurance. You hope you destroy you, well, I got insurance. You put yourself in all those kind of things, but when you come to your own soul salvation, a lot of folks that run the day, man, on uncertainty. They don't know what they, they really don't know. They, they, they really don't know, amen, praise God. Hallelujah, amen, praise God. They don't know, amen, praise God, if they use amen to fix it, what side I'm gonna fall on? Praise God, hallelujah. But you can be a certain about this thing today. You don't have to be no question in your mind concerning your salvation. You don't have to be no question in your mind, am I saved or not? Hallelujah. If I ask you, amen, praise God, have you been born in the natural, amen, you, you know, yeah, I've been born in the natural. There's no question about it. But you've been specially born. You've been born again, amen, praise God. Then it comes to question. Hallelujah. But if you let God do it, do it right, you'll find, amen, you'll know. You'll know for yourself. You'll know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So therefore, amen, praise God, it's not good for a man to say he's saved if he's not saved. It's not helpful for one to say, man, praise God, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost if you're not filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. I tell you why it's not good. Because the Holy Ghost supplies certain things in your life. Come on, somebody. I feel the children now. But I say the Holy Ghost supplies certain things in your life. And he who does not have the Holy Ghost does not have that. Oh, glory to God. Praise 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 God.
God, let the Holy Ghost, amen, praise God, play the part in my understanding. Amen. The Holy Ghost, amen, plays a part in my walk, amen. amen. The Holy Ghost plays a major part in my life. And if I go through this and I got the Holy Ghost, and I don't have the Holy Ghost, I'm locked in this land. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I need this. It's not so important for me to have it. I claim I got it, but I don't have it. You don't want to deceive yourself. Praise the Lord. So stay there until the Lord, amen, fill you with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. God will show up, fill you with the gift of the Holy Ghost. We call the Holy Ghost. It's His Spirit yeah. that comes into you, amen, praise God, and drive us that old human nature. That's why there's so much something that's falling going on, because the whole human nature ain't never been proven yet, amen, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. But God said, I want to come. I want to make my abode with you. If you let him in, amen, praise God, his spirit will come in and take control of this house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. God want to be in control of this house. God want to control these hands. He want to control everything about me. And the way he put his spirit in me, amen, praise God. Hallelujah. And he can control me. But if you ain't got the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Praise God, you're dangerous. Huh? You can't be around folks that see because they see and they're very strong. You trouble to take them down. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, amen, praise God. He said, amen, praise God. I'm not running this one uncertain. Yeah. Fight now, amen. I'm about to box in the air. I'm not knocking nobody down. No, no, my punch is not counting at all. I ain't hitting nothing. I'm just hit the air, amen. And I can box with the air all day long and never hurt the air. That's right. That's right. Huh? Yeah. But I keep under my body yeah. and bring it under subjection. Yeah. Lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway or rejected by God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead and, and, and 2 Peter 2 17. Well, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I know they put the signs up. I'm doing my best. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And, and, and if you notice, my preaching is not about a whole lot of fancy words. Yeah. I have no desire. Like Amen. Praise God. If we oh, just took a whole lot of time with the book writer. Amen. Write up 500 pages and couldn't put it all in two pages. Amen, praise God. He used all those extra words, amen, to keep you reading, keep you reading to the end, amen, praise right. God. And sometimes, amen, preachers, amen, they find if I'm putting in a whole lot of extra words, a whole lot of extra words, I just like to tell them like a deal. Huh? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, look at 17, verse, 2 Peter, 2 chapter, 17, verse. Say, says, these are well. Without water. Yeah. You see, we just come on the drought. Yeah. Some of us may have experienced well with no water. Yeah. Some of us have experienced well with low water. Yeah. All right. And a whole lot of things you used to do, you can't do no more. Amen. 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 You couldn't wash your car. You, no. Sometimes you couldn't do your laundry. Amen. A lot of things you had to do, amen, praise God, to preserve that water. I said, these are wells without no water, clad that are carried with temperance to whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they are law through a lust of the flight, through much wantonness, though they were clean, escaped from them who live in the air. They sound like they're right. They sound like they got it. And them brothers, them brothers want to do it too. They know exactly how to do it. If you think they got it, yeah. Yeah. all them words they're speaking in that prayer, all their things they're saying, they got to have it. Not necessary. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servant of corruption. For whom a man is overcome, the same is brought into bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled themselves and overcome. And the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Praise the Lord. 
when you allow yourself to go back into the world, well, when you allow yourself to go back, amen, praise God, from really? where God has bought you from, your latter end will be worse than what you was to begin with. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord has saved you and has cleaned you up, amen, praise God, from all those humble things, from all those things, amen, praise God, that the Bible declares sin. And you're trying to go back to those things, amen. Your latter sin, amen, is worse than what you was to begin with. Yeah. One scripture, amen, praise God, says one devil got cast out. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then come along, amen. You got this one that didn't back in. And he just come. He got in. He brought all his buddies with him. For seven more. Worse than what he was. Huh? For if had been, if for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness, than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened. What has happened? Amen. According to the true proverb, the dog is turned into his own vomit again, and the sad that was washed to a wallow in the mouth. Praise the Lord. So that's what the Bible is, is characterizing you or me if I turn around as evil and go back, amen, to the old life. Amen. That God has delivered me from. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at St. Matthew. Bless the Lord. Chapter 7. Hallelujah. Same back to chapter 7. I hope you got your Bible this evening. Okay, okay. You check behind me. Right. Make sure I'm doing this thing right. Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wonders work. Yes. And I thought I stopped 
Paul did to tell you that everything you see the call of miracles not of God. Well, yeah. 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 The Bible teaches that the devil do miracles. Well, Jesus. Hallelujah. And the devil miracle is the, for the purpose of deceiving. Oh Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And that's for a man, you that are in the house of God, you that have been taught the truth, amen, praise God, you don't need a relationship with those kind of people. All right, all right. Huh? No, 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 no. You don't need to be writing to none of them. That's right. Huh? Right. Praise the Lord. You don't need to be writing to those false prophets. The Bible say a man is known by the fruit of that. If he's not obeying God and doing the same that God has commanded him to do, then his fruit is corrupt. Right. So all the time we get caught up in material values. Praise the Lord. And the prophets of the day, man, prophesied nothing like they prophesied in the days of old. Every prophet comes through every day, man, praise God. He got something going to something in your life. Uh, a new car. Uh, 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 I see you with this. Yeah. And sometimes we're so ignorant. We go downtown. And we know we ain't got no surplus. Well. <laughs> we know there is nothing left after we don't pay it up. We need a few more to, 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 to get the year to get But we get all washed up by the prophet and what the prophet has prophesied. <laughs> and we go downtown, all foolish, yes. and buy something we can't even afford. That's, 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 praise the Lord. What they call the thing? Kill with the Joneses? Huh? Praise God. You got to count the call. Amen. And we fail too often time to count the call. The Bible says, man, praise God. If a man decides to build a house, amen, so he first set it out and estimate the call for the house before they get the bill. And he finds he doesn't have enough money to build a house, he don't start to build a house. For if he's in and praise God, can go and build a house with not enough money, he get the house up, he cannot finish, and the folk will laugh at him. That's right. Praise the Lord. Right. So you can't afford it, man, praise God, to be paying them three and four hundred dollars a month payment on that vehicle you want, amen, man, praise God. Leave it alone. Right. But them slick salesmen, there, man, praise God, they will make you think you can pay for it. All he wants to do is get all his lot. He wants to get somebody's name. Amen. Hallelujah. And that two, three months later, hey, man, praise God, they set him back on the lot and you somewhere hitchhiking and folks laughing at you. Amen. Right. 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 You ain't got the old car you was riding around in the beginning, man. You ain't got that one no more. I will not have you ignorant, my people. Praise the Lord. So he come around here, man, praise God. I, I see you in a new car. I say, well, put some in here so you, I can see myself. <laughs> so right now, according to this, I don't see myself in no new car. Hallelujah. Yeah, right. Praise the Lord. And then sometimes, yeah, man, praise God, folk get an automobile and get something new and they come to church, right. man, they get them testifying, man. But, but, but they have received it, man, praise God. But you know what? I know it, man, that's 48 months behind it. Sometimes that's 60 months behind. Right. And you ain't talking about them 48 months. And you ain't talking about them 60 months. You make somebody think somebody don't give it to you. Right. Right. And somebody in there is short around here standing in there, praise God. So he got one, I get one too. Count the call, my friend. God wants you to have sense. Praise the Lord. And the 23rd verse, amen, praise God. Then I would profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me. You that work a nicotine. Who was he talking about? He was talking to the miracle worker. Yeah, yeah. Them, them folks that I cast those devils. I, I preach in your name. Uh, I done many wonderful things. He said, I didn't know, I don't know you because your work was a work of lawlessness. What I'm saying, he's saying, you didn't keep my commandments. All right. All right. That's what Jesus is saying. That's what the word of nicotine means. The word of nicotine means lawlessness. Praise the Lord. So the man you say, man, is done away with the law, he going to turn you down because you didn't keep it. That don't quite add up to me. I'm not need to get some, get some understanding this time. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. God has not taken away his law. No, 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 no. If God would take away his law, then what would I do to sin? Amen. When the scriptures say, man, praise God, the great apostle that, 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 that we follow, man, praise God, he gets the praise to him, and he was a great apostle. 
Then we say, amen, praise God, and, and all of us, amen, not to keep the law. He said he wouldn't have known sin if it had not been for the law. Amen. Now, I ain't going to turn around, amen, praise God, after being benefited to the knowledge of sin through the law, I'm going to tell you not to keep the law. Amen. I don't make no sin. Praise the Lord. So you got to amen, glory to God. Look at this thing. Look at it again. Yeah. So time is winding up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I preach, amen, praise God, that you may be edified in the word of God. That you may know what God is requiring of you and be led at evil days. Don't be deceived. Don't be fooled. Praise God. He that do it well in, in God, is God will make it well for him. Amen. He that sin, God's going to punish him. Huh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He that, he, he that do what keeps the law of God, amen, hallelujah. God's going to bless him. him. Amen, praise God, that keepeth not God's law. God's going to take away his part amen. of the book of life. Amen. amen. If I stand up here and tell you, amen, you don't have to obey God, I've been taking away the laws of God. I've been taking away God from God's word. So I'm putting in my words, and God said, I'm going to take away your part of the book of life. Amen. amen. If I add to it, God said, amen, I'm going to add what? Praise amen. unto you. We don't need God's plagues on us. Are you listening to him? We don't need the plagues of the Lord upon us. So obey God. Keep God's commandments. All ten. Not nine. I'm not the bargain preacher. I don't have God's uh, uh, word on the bargain, in the bargain basement. Now the price been cut down. You don't have to pay what you used to have to pay. Amen, praise God. You don't have to pay ten no more. I, I gave ten percent off. Huh? Praise the Lord. Ten to set off a of ten, amen. And one thing you take off. Yeah. And what they have done, amen, praise God, they have put it on sale. They made a bargain basement of it. And they say, well, you don't have to keep the fourth commandment. You don't have to keep the Sabbath no more. Because right. them same folk will break that neck in the church on Sunday. Yeah. All right. Huh? All right. You mean you wash your car on Sunday? Yeah. You chopping your wood on Sunday? Well, you said it wasn't no Sabbath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If there's no Sabbath, would you make such a moderation to be doing it on Sunday? Mm -hmm. right. You're the one saying it's not a Sabbath. Yeah. Praise right. the Lord. But through <laughs> ignorance, right. we keep the day that man has given unto us. Well, and the day that man. Gives